This is not what I want to announce with you. Uh, Sister Mona Latin's service will be this coming Saturday here at the sanctuary. That's St. Mona Mission Road Baptist Church this Saturday. Visitation is from 9.30 to 11, and the service will start at 11 o'clock for Sister Mona Latin this Saturday. This Saturday. Listen, I'm a huge sports fan, and Michael Jordan. Larry Bird, yeah. Magic Johnson, the uh, younger people, LeBron, they're, they're, all, they're all great. They all had different styles. But the bottom line is they all got the job done. And we have some associate ministers here. They have different styles. But the bottom line is they get the job done. Associate Minister is going to come this morning and share a word. It's preaching time. We've had, we've had praise and we've had prayer. The most important part of the service is the word of God. And it's preaching time. And this brother is going to come this morning. Let's give him a rousing round as he comes. We Friday. It's been four years since I stood wow. 
in this pulpit and preach. I told the Lord, if, if I get another chance to stand up, no matter what goes on in my life, let me preach. My mother's gone. My father's gone. My mother never got a chance to hear me preach God's word. And she told me, she said, son, if God called you once, he'll call you again. But you go on and preach the Lord's word. So I got some of my family. You know, it's been a while since they heard me preach. Three of my oldest brothers are gone. My sister, mother, and father are gone. But my, my oldest brother heard it. The head of the clan, not because he's the oldest brother, but um, I haven't seen him in my older sisters in here somewhere else. Oh, well, yeah, it is. Sometimes I get up and teach some, some of them. I talk about Jerry and Terry, the twins, is it? Justin's on the set. Now I got my lookalikes here. My oldest here is Cindy. Stand up, Cindy. Come on, baby. And I got Road Dog. Just now, Road Dog Brandon. I don't know where Cindy Junior. He, he, he plays for the church out there in Bud when we're young out there in Eastern Springs. He's trying to get over here. But I got my one of my. Uh, my other sister, Kathy, raise your hand, Kat. Oh, she's back. I got my, my oldest Eastern, the Latonia, stand up, Latonia, and other little See, I got some family, you know. I don't know, I don't know about any of my cousins and, and nieces. I don't know anybody. All my nieces, and they just stand up.
in the King of Bell, which is all, came out in a raid for a battle against them in the Valley of Sin. Against Cain, though, the mirror, King of Abel, and the King of Goin, and Amphra, the King of Shinna, and the Rock, King of Elzar. Four kings against five. Now watch this. Now the Valley of Sin was full of what? Tar pits. And the king of Sodom and the king of Gomorrah, and they fell into them. But those who escaped fled to the country, the hill country. Then they took all the goods of Sodom and Gomorrah, and all their food and support, and the poet. I'm at the 12th verse. They also took Lot. Abram's nephew, his possession and departed, for he was living in Sodom. Now look at the 13th verse, and I'm almost through y'all, just, just give me a little time. Then a future came, told Abram, his nephew, how he was living, now he was living by the oaks in Mary. The Amorites, brother of Ezekiel, and the brother of Adam, and there and these was Abram with Abram. When Abram heard that Lot, his brother Lot had been taken, he led out his trained men, born in his house. Brother Wells, 
Noah, his wife, and three sons find favor with God. Go, go back and read it. It's, it's good to go back and read the Bible every now and then to get a refreshing where you and I are. But you go from the 6th chapter, the 7th chapter, the 8th chapter, the ninth chapter, the 10th chapter, and guess what? Heaven becomes solid. Not a word from God to man in the, the sixth chapter to the tenth chapter. In the eleventh chapter, it get wild. Nero, he's he's uh, he's he's good looking, he's tall, he's strong, he's, he's a hunter, he's a ruler, but he's a builder. And he decided he wants to go up to heaven and talk to God. But God wants a way to communicate. And how to get back to man, he does it in the 12th chapter of Genesis. Yeah, all right. Go, go read it. Terah is Abram's father with Abram, he got Ram, and he got Hurrah, three sons, and Charity. And all the odds is east of Babylon. And Terah, the father, he he's he worshiped out of gods. He don't he don't know anything about the living God. He worshiped the sun god. He worshiped the creek. Just everything just wow. All right. He's in he's in Babylon. He's in all where the Chaldeans are ruthless guys, mean guys, the killers. I mean, they they just brutal. Let me slow down. So I want you to get where I'm at in, in this 14 chapter. And I'm getting there. So what 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 Terah does? He moves his family from the Chaldeans and he heads toward Canaan. Yeah. Read it. It's in, it's in the text. And he gets over there. He got three sons. I told you, Abram, Haran, and Horan. But Haran died in the presence of his father, and he leaves a son called Lot. And Abram, he's in his father's house at 75 years old, and God speaks out of heaven. He calls his name Abe and Abram, but out of the midst of the sky, he hears God's voice and he bucked. Because he never heard anything like that before. He takes a wife, Sarah, and God said, Get thee up from among your folks. Why am I going to? Show you a land that I'm gonna give to you and your descendants. Keep in mind, Abraham don't have. He got a wife who's barren, but she don't have any kids. So he takes Lot, who is his nephew, and he becomes a father to his nephew. But Lot is not ready to obey his uncle Abraham. And the Bible says they moved. Abram, Sarah, and Lot moved from where they are. And they go down to, uh, toward Bethel and Ahi. And the Bible says that while they're there, there's a famine coming in the land. I'm, I'm, I'm just getting by. I ain't got, I ain't got to where I want to get. Y'all just, you just hold on. God and I are going to get there, whether you get there, but God and I are going to get where, where I want to get. And they moved from between Ahi and Bethel and go down there. And a, the Bible says there's a famine come on. And they go down, this is what I'm telling y'all, they go from Bethel and Ahi, but they go down, listen to me, they go down to where? Egypt. You can be in the church. You can be a believer. Listen to me now. Let me back up. 
He's in his father's house, right, Pastor Taylor? His father worship out of gods that don't speak, don't talk, can't eat, can't see, can't do nothing for him in his father's house. And why yet Aaron is in his father's house, God speaks to who? Abe. Out of the midst of the sky, which you call a divine call. And they move, man. Look, I'm trying to get to because I need this for myself. They move from his father's house, and God shows him a place to go between Beth and Ahab. And he leaves and go down to Egypt. And before he get there, he tells Sarah, though the Egyptians are going to look upon you because she's a beautiful woman, and you tell them for me, you my sister. And he tells his, his wife, lie and say that you my sister. You can be in the church and a believer, feel it on love, and still lie. Come on, back, talk back to me if you can. And, 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 and Sarah don't say anything, she gets down there, and the Pharaoh men see Sarah, and they, they take her. To Pharaoh the king. He takes Sarah and said, the Pharaoh sent Abram sheep, cows, silver, and gold. And when he went to put his hand on Sarah, Pharaoh, God sent a plan. He sent a play on the whole entire nation of, of the Egyptians and it is scared Pharaoh. He jumps up, he calls for Abram and he asks Abram, why did you lie to me, man? Why didn't you, why did you tell me that this woman was your sister when you know she's your wife? And he packed, he gives, he, 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 he triples what Abe's already have. He gives him more cows, he gives him down, he, I know, he gives him gold, he gives him silver, he gives him so much stuff. And he, and he runs him out of town. Yeah. Read, the, read the Bible. But when he runs him out of town, the Bible says, Lot went too. He, he, he leave Egypt and go back down between Beth and Ahab. Uh -huh. And when he go back, Sister Mitchell, he got they, he, Abram got so much stuff, and Lot got so much stuff. Yeah, and the Bible says that the land couldn't hold him. Oh, yeah. I'm in the 13th chapter now, but that's a, that's when there's unyoke between two people. It caused strife. And when you got unbeautiness and, and strife, you call separation. I'm getting there, baby. <laughs> it calls separation. You married? You're with some girl or whatever. When you when you got strife and when you got unyokeness, it calls what separation in the house. But it doesn't cause separation between A and Lot. It calls separation between their herdsmen. And every day there's a what? A fight. Read the 13th chapter. And the Bible says. Abe as a father goes to his nephew and he talks to him. He said, listen now, don't let there be any strife between you and I. Because you and I are relatives. We are king folks. Church, don't let no, 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 no separation between you and I because we are what? I didn't hear you. We are what? 
Ten folks. Now tell you what you do. You look to the left. If you like the left, you can have the left. This ain't even talking to life. Or you can look to the right. Right, well, you can walk this way. Choose any direction you want. And what you don't take, I take. But the Bible is misconstrued it there because Abraham, he's the oldest, he's the uncle. He can look any way he want to look. He can take the left, he can take the right, and give Lot what he wants. But being humble, he gives Lot the opportunity. You can choose. This is what God said. I'm God. And I have given you the right to choose whatever you want to choose. You want to live holy or you can live a sinful life. Let me, let me say this. I told uh, the man one Saturday out here. Oh, uh, one Saturday. I was, we was talking about, I was talking about time. The Bible says in the book of uh, Solomon, you say, time. It's a time to live and a time to die. It's a time to be married and it's time to cry. It's a time to be for war and it's a time for peace. Go read, it's in the book. But I told the church, I said, well, you know, on Saturdays, I said, you can even get me Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. But let me have, then I tell them, I said, let me have Saturday for myself. I don't mind coming out here if you, if, you, if you guys are serious about doing what you say, because I like to take Saturday for myself. I like to go fishing. If, 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 if I could have, if I could have, this Sunday, the second Sunday, the uh, second week of November, my wife can tell you, I usually be gone. I'll be packed on a, on a Thursday night, Friday. I, I get in my truck, pack, pack. I grab my guns, and I'm on my way to the woods to deer hunt this, this weekend, rut week, this rut weekend. I never miss rut week when I go deer hunt. But I, all my friends were like, some of it, they dead and gone. But so my wife won't let me go by myself. Because <laughs> I would have been gone. But I was telling the, 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 the men that Saturday, I said, well, you know, your time is your time. Right, Brother Will? I told you, Brother Will, I said, your time is your time. You know, people will pay you for your time. You can do anything you want to do with your time. I told the, the men that said, I said, but well, you remember one thing. People, it's your time, it's your time to do anything you want. People pay you for your time. But well, remember this. Your time is on somebody else's time. All right. Come on. Your time is on somebody else's time. And God holds the time. But he gives you an eye time. Back to, this, back to this text, and I'm almost through, man, and I'm almost there, Sister Taylor. So they Lot looked to the east. He looked toward Jordan, where the river Jordan flowed through the plains, and the grass was beautifully green. And the Bible says, before God destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, that it looked like the Garden of Eden. Beautiful. And the Bible says Lot took the valley of joy. And Abe settled where he was. And when they separated, God spoke again to Abe. He said, look, look around you. Talk. He tells Abe, look around you, Abe. Every sin of the dust on the ground, I'm going to make you the descendant. I'm going to, it's yours. If somebody can count the dust, they can count your descendant. But Abe is Abe, 
if you don't, his name don't change to the 17th chapter of Genesis. Read it. And he believed, but he, he's still not sure because he don't have any, he don't have any descendants himself. He don't have a child himself from Sarah because Sarah is, she's 65 and she's bad when she don't, she can't have any kids. She thinks so. I'm, I'm, I'm almost there. Because I want a boy to be looking kind of funny like you're about to go to sleep. So let me go on and get it and get out of the way. So he leaves and goes to the valley towards joy. And Abe stays over there. And God speaks to him. And, and everywhere Abe went, if you watch the story, from those of character, over there at Belta to Abraham. He builds what, y'all? He builds an altar. An altar. Because he's trying to understand God because he had never heard that before. And he comes to going to the altar praying. While he's praying in memory, Lot's over there in Joy, over there in Solomon, looking at the greenness. Abraham is at the altar Praying, lots is over there fidgeting in sound. Abel's fasting, and lots flee. But have you ever? I told the men this morning, you can only testify what you see and what you touch. And your name can come up in a conversation that you don't know anything about. Say that. Say that. Abe is at the altar. Lot is in Solomon. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And he don't know what's going on around him. But the text I read to, let's come on to the text now. There's a fellow in the text, Kado Labir. For 12 years, Solomon had been paying him for, for protection. Five kings, I read you, you heard of four against five, but they was paying one for the K.O. Lemire protection money every year for five, for 12 long years. But the 13th year comes, and they don't want to pay. And K.O. Lemire, he gets mad and he wants to go to war. But Lot is in Solomon, he don't know what's going on around him. But behind the scene, Barra, the king of Sodom, and Bersha, he's the king of Gormah, telling Kado, Kado Lemire, we ain't gonna pay you. But Lot is in the plane. You, if, when people bring your name up in front they can bless you or they can curse you. But Lot is comfortable in, in Solomon and Abram is resting in the Lord at the altar. And the Bible says that Cato goes to them fellows, those five, those other three kings. He's, look, look, look at the other king he goes to. He goes to Amaphel. He's the king of Shinna. He goes to Arak. He's the king of Elazar. And he goes to the other king, Tadar. He's the king of Gomer. He goes to three other brutal kings, which is Babylonian kings. Where Abe and Lot just come from. These cats is in Babylon. And they, they, they come down, they get together, and they're going to come to Solomon. But before they get to Solomon, they, they, they leave town, and everything they see, they kill, they slaw, they massacre, they was ruthless, they was diabolical. So what Bera does and what Berche does, they want to be slick. They get three other kings. They try to attack four. 
And when the place they mix, they mix in the valley of cinder, they got what? Asphalt tar. And they falls into it. And the king of Bera, of Gomal, which is Bera, he breaks and run. Of Sodom, he breaks and run and he hides. The kings of Bershaw, he breaks and run and he hides. And he leaves all the minions and they flee to the mountain. But one gets away. We went to war, and the king Beryl runs off, and the king Bershaw runs off, and they takes everything from Sodom, they takes everything from Gomorrah, but nothing happened until that escape he tells Abram they took a lot. God's seat. And God 
the kings, they didn't have many men. They only have a thousand to each king. Yeah. Yeah. So you got 318 to 4,000. Yeah. Yeah. For me, that's kind of hard, ain't it? Yes. Yeah. That you're going to take 318 and work 4,000. Yeah. Yeah. But let me tell y'all something. <laughs>
Amen. 